Hi guys, welcome to Football Lions. My name is Richman. In fact, guys, what is happening to us? Or is it that we are not a lucky team? Guys, Riz James injured again. Can you believe this, guys? In fact, we already have a shambolic defense, a leaking defense. And Riz James was the only player one will look up to or Chelsea fan will look up to and have the hope that in case we need someone to do the good work at the defense, we have Riz James. But now, our Riz James is injured again. But please, guys, just remind you, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscription button and let's give this video 100 likes. Please like this video and don't forget to subscribe. And guys, in fact, this Riz James injury crisis, just have to plan a life without Riz James. Yes, just have to sign another right back, experienced right back, or the same as Gusto, to come and help Gusto. Because... Riz James, I think since he started, it never ended <laughs> up to now. Reoccurring. And Gusto cannot play all the matches. 38 Premier League games. Karawaka will be there. FA Cup will be there. Conference League will be there. Gusto cannot play all the matches. And Achampon is there. We can't trust Achampon. He's still young. You see? So, even just letting uh, Chalova living on loan, even just let uh, uh, Thiago Silva living. In this case, we need these players around. Yes, and Fofana is injury-prone player. Remember, guys, last season, uh, Fofana did not play a single game with Chelsea. Last season, pre-season, uh, uh, this pre-season, Fofana played for Chelsea. So Chelsea even selling Chaloba and Thiago Silva. If Chelsea can change their decision on this, especially this Chaloba, because Silva already done. Yes. If Chelsea can let Chaloba stay, it will be good. Because... Uh, Mareska said he had enough. The center bars are there, plenty, many. So that is why uh, Chaloba is not in his plans. And in this case, one of our uh, defenders are down. Riz James into our sick bed. As I said, Fofana is injured prone player. And this Premier League is intensively. For you to compete, you need to have a, a good bench. Once you have good uh, starting 11, you have to have the good bench. And no team can survive in world football. No team can win trophies in, in world football with your best players being injured. No, no, no. It can't happen. You can't win trophies or achieve your target as a team in a season with your best players being in your injury list. So let's hope regimes, because information saying that he will return on something like 15 September or 14. So he will miss five or four games. And the conference league playoff, the two home and away conference league play, playoff, he will not play that games, that two games. And yes, he had a red card. I think three games, eh? When a player had a straight red card in the Premier League, three games, right? So he will miss that three games. So that two games, he will return. And let's hope when he returns, he stay injury-free forever. Because it's like, it is not coming something that we don't like. As a big team, having players who normally get injured, every time, all the time. It's not good for a big team. So just have to plan a life with that Riz James. Maybe general transfer window. Chelsea should start searching for a right back to come and be helping Gusto. And some people are saying that Chelsea should sell Riz James. I think it's too early. Let's wait and see when he returns. Maybe uh, at the end of the season. If something happens, maybe then the following season, Chelsea can let him go. Because for me, I'm confused. Because when Riz James is in the fault, the world will know. The world will experience it that Riz James is in the fault. Yes, yes, Gusto is good, but quality-wise, Riz James is ahead. And Riz James can play for any team in this world. But injuries, 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 young players as this, injuries keep on occurring. For me, what I know is that like when a player is getting to uh, his 30th, 31st, those uh, time the injuries start coming. But Riz James, oh, I don't understand. In fact, they should bring Riz James to Ghana. I will send him to my village. They will just miss on herbs and treat him forever. Yes, I will send him to Pansia. It's too much. So, guys, regimes inject again. Yes. <laughs> and let's come to Ryan Stelle and Madwak. In fact, Chelsea said they are interested to listen to any reasonable offer that will come for Stelle and Madwak. Guys, this caused argument on social media. Some fans are saying Chelsea should sell Majuaki. Some are saying Chelsea should sell Sterling. So guys, let me hear from you under the comment section. Among these two players, who will you like Chelsea to sell? So that means that 
Modric is untouchable. No, 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 no. Because of his price tag. Yes, the amount Chelsea sent him. That is why Chelsea is not calling for his selling. But Modric, I think that is his second to third season in the Premier League. Modric hasn't proved it. He hasn't shown as the Modric that we sent, the 18 million Modric that we sent. So even though because of the price tag, Chelsea should even sell Modric and leave these two players. Because selling some days, he give us the goals. If not Neto coming, Sterling is one of the best players in our wings. Sterling is better than Maduaku and Co. Modric and Co. So if not because of his wages and the age, I will even let Sterling to stay. Yes. And Maduaku also sometimes too know over dribbling. Poor decision making. He's good. When Maduaku holds the ball, you know that this guy is good. He had the talent. He had the potential. But release the ball. That is what we are talking about. Inexperience. As a player, for you to, 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 to make it easier for yourself, when you dribble one, two, find the space, pass the ball or, or shoot or cross. But Maduaku will hold the ball, hold the ball, abba! So guys, <laughs> just want to say any of these two players, Sterling or Maduaku, let me hear from you, your opinion, your thought about this transfer, guys. And let's come to Ben Chiwell. In fact, guys, Mariska said Ben Chiwell is not part of his plans. Mariska said that Ben Chiwell is not part in his plans. So as a Chelsea fan that we should not be surprised when the season starts. Ben Chiwell being on the bench as a Chelsea fan. When you see that, the lineup come out and you didn't see Ben Chiwell in the first uh, lineup, that we shouldn't be surprised that he's not in his plans. And this Mariska and his preference, preference, let's hope it really works because Mariska is the reason why Chelsea sign a new goalkeeper, guys. Mariska is the reason why Chelsea sold Galaga to Atiku. Mariska is the reason why uh, Chelsea's uh, son, Keenan Drosboro Hall. I think Guy also, Mariska signed him. We'll come to Guy and Omorodion transfer. And even talk about uh, our game against Inter. We'll do the preview. So guys, please, watch till the end. So this Mariska and his preference, this player is in my tactics. This player is not in my tactics. Yes, it's fine. As a manager, you need to know that this kind of players or this color of players can play for me. But... As a new coach, as a young coach, coming to a big team like Chelsea, I don't think in your first season, you should sign a lot of play. Because mostly, new managers as Mariska, their first season, they, are, they, they still use it to experiment, to know the players better. We saw during the preseason, errors upon errors. Yes. So Mariska signed so many players, there were pressure on him. Because when you sign a player as a coach, we have to see the reason why you sign him, when the season starts, when he's playing. We have to see Georgeson perform. We have to see uh, Keenan perform. Yes, we have to see the reason why you said Chaloba is not in your plans. We have to see the reason why you said Chilwa is not in your plans. You are, we have to see the reason why you let Chelsea sell Galaga. So guys, I think Mariska is putting pressure on himself. If the play that he signed don't work or don't perform to expectation, we all know how Chelsea are doing it. We will call for his head. Yes. Chelsea gave Porter five years contract and then Chelsea sacked him because he was about to send Chelsea to relegation, to championship. And we will never accept that as fans. And this season, in fact, the project must define itself. Chelsea fans, this season, we can't be patient anymore if Chelsea don't get top four. If Chelsea don't win any trophy, be it Carabao Cup, be it FA Cup, be it Conference League, we have to see improvement. We have to see changes. We have to see difference. In fact, Todd Bowley, if not Todd Bowley Chelsea, how on earth Abraham Movie Chelsea will play Conference League? Yes, if not Todd Bowley and Eric Bale, clearly Capital Chelsea. Abraham Movie Chelsea will never play Conference League. So guys, this season, Mareska have to do something. We have to get top four. Because... All the players that he needs so far, he's the first manager under this ownership. The owners are listening to him, signing the play that he needs for him. All the players, Keenan, as I said, George, listen, he signed them. All. He said, Chilwell, Chaloba, Gallagher is not in his plan. So, this time around, these owners are listening to our manager. I'm telling you, they are listening. So, let's hope Mareska really succeed, deliver for us this season. So, guys, Mareska said, Chiwe is not in his plans. And for Omorojo and Gai, 
information saying that if Chelsea land Victor or Simen, Chelsea may let one of these players also live on loan, or Morodium or Guy. And in fact, Chelsea will land Victor or Simen. Chelsea is signing Victor or Simen. I'm telling you. See, the only way Chelsea will not sign Osimhen if Osimhen decides to stay in Napoli. Yes, that is the only way. And if Osimhen stay in Napoli, still insists that even they can pay the 30 million for Lukaku. So the only way Chelsea will not sign Osimhen if Osimhen decides to stay in Napoli. But if Osimhen is going to leave, Osimhen will come to Chelsea. Osimhen will not go to PSG. Osimhen will not go to Saudi. If Osimhen is leaving, Osimhen is coming to Chelsea. I'm telling you. Record this video down, guys. Chelsea is signing Osimhen. Unless Osimhen will not leave Napoli. Yes. And if Osimhen will come, uh, Omorodium or Gai may leave on loan. And in fact, this is what we, the Chelsea fans, we've been saying, we've been talking about all season, all the transfer window. If you have a target, you need a speedy striker. Go for him first. Subsequently, after getting all your targets, you can then you can then go and be signing your young players, your teenagers. Nobody cares. Prepare the first team. Let the first team be ready to compete. That is what Chelsea were doing under Abraham moving. But unfortunately, we ended signing all the teenagers and realized that they can't give us the competition. Now we are going out to sign experienced striker. Now look at what is happening. And. Alvarez was on the list. Now he went to an uh, article. Uh, uh, Gurashi was on the list. Now he went to uh, Dortmund. We concentrated on signing young young players that we don't need. Because if we need Omorojo or Guy, why should it be the case that if a seaman join or if any experienced striker join, they may let one of them live on loan. That means we don't need them for now for the first team. So why not we go for our targets first? I don't understand. I don't understand and I can't understand, guys. I don't understand to bully just what they are doing to us. In fact, guys, let's hope they come and perform. Yes, because already done, completed, guy, Omorodio completed. And guy, during the preseason, he showed just that definition. And let's hope young players, they do develop. Let's hope he develop. Because they are now our players. They are now part of us. They are now blue. They are now in Stafford Bridge. They are now in Cohan. They are not just players. So we have to support them. We have to help them to perform, to develop. So guys, let's hope when the season starts, even Omorojo come and perform. Young guys, nowadays football, when you even look at the big, big teams that are competing uh, across Europe, uh, mostly the young players are doing it. So let's hope this our young player, they also pick from. So guys, that is the information for Omorojo and Guy. Just are ready to let any of them live on loan if Victor or Simeon come or if Chelsea sign any experienced striker. So let me hear from you guys under the comment section about this transfer also. On Morojo and Guy transfer. Let me hear from you guys. Let's come to uh, uh, Pedro Neto, the new player Chelsea sign. Chelsea will unveil him today in Stafford Bridge as we are shooting this video. Against Inter, Chelsea will unveil him, show him to the fans, guys. And if he can play, why not? Because this time around, this game is very, very crucial. Let's talk about it, guys. Let's just talk about it and move on. This game, Chelsea versus Inter, is it important? Yes, it's important. It's very, 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 very important because Mareska first game in Stamford Bridge. This season, our first game in Stamford Bridge. So we have to see the guys perform. That defensive mistakes, that midfield mistakes, we don't want to see it. It should be over. Less than a week for the season to start. And after this game, our next game will be in the Premier League against City. So by now, a team that is ready to compete, by now we should be ready. Yes. So this game is important. Even if Chelsea will lose this game, which I don't pray for, or even if Chelsea will lose it, but for the playing style, we have to see it. Some errors, some mistakes, as I said, it should be, it should be abolished. They should not do any mistake, especially in the defense. We don't want to see any single mistake. Yes, if we are going to prepare, if we are going to be ready, it should be now. So guys, and even our, our striking position, they need to be converting that big, big chances they are getting and they are missing. This time around against Inter, we want to see difference. We want to see changes that will give us the hope that we are ready to play City. Yes. And Kukurela and Kopama are bad guys. They never play under Mareska. The preseason, they were not there. So, they should start. 
I will not even like to see them come on uh, in the second half. I will want Kukurela and Palmer to start so that we can see how they can give or they can play for Mareska tactics, Mareska football. So this game is important. Yes, guys. And my score prediction. Well, I would like Chelsea to win this game, but it will be hard. It will be difficult. I would like Chelsea to win 2-1. Yes, just to enter one. But to be honest, can that happen? So I will be honest here and give you my, 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 my true score and prediction. I see it to be 1-1. Yes, 1-1. One, one. Just 1-1, one, enter 1. But I want to see good football. I want to see a football without errors. I want to see a football with goals. 